All right, calling all players indeed. Um, well, I am just back from my third outing of the day in a walkabout, actually go walkabout my neighborhood form. Um, and um, I am being called to show you the logic behind why I picked up what I picked up today and whether or not you would be able to do the same in a similar situation. And I've also been called to show this to you exactly as it stands right now. So I'm gonna show you, come down, come down with me, kneel down, and show you what is on my shamanic altar. Um, and I'm checking in to see, can I move things out of the way? No, nope, we're just gonna pile right on top of what is already there. So um, on my third walk of the day today, um, I took uh, a walk in a certain musical style that if you follow me on Instagram, um, or if that went to my Facebook friends, um, then you would know what style of music that is. Or possibly by looking at me and what I'm wearing, um, you might be able to guess as well. So I'll stand up a second so you can, uh, my arm's not long enough. Um, but you can see uh, just below the knee-length skirt, it happens to be in a lovely um, star constellation type pattern, because that's one of the themes that I really, really love. And I also, what I went to acquire on this particular walk was what I didn't have to complete my outfit, which is this white sweater. And which I have, you can see I kind of put over my shoulders and kind of tie it in the front. Is the, with the skirt and the sweater, white sweater tied in front, is that reminding you of a certain era or a certain musical style? That's the one we went with on the walk. Um, and I happen to know, because I walk my neighborhood regularly, that someone had put a, in a pile of this white sweater and this white towel. And they were put together um, in a much more of a jumble than, than this. It might have looked might have looked something something more like that, where you could see a towel. You could see a towel. Um, actually, the dirty part wasn't uh, wasn't showing. You could see a towel. You could see a sweater on top of it. But I know from the way that I play. Dare I say it? The game that if I see a pile of something that I could get one choice, I could take one object or I could take one pile, then I get the whole darn thing. And especially when somebody has taken the time to assemble a pile that is a similar color, a similar type of item, they're both fabrics. Hello, to me, that is like a, this is a pile that was left for someone as a resource to use. And luckily, um, it hasn't been rainy here <laughs> lately. So just a quick shake off of the leaves and things like that. And it wasn't that gross to put on. I'm just putting it over my own clothes anyway. Who cares? I'm washable. I don't care. Um, and then the other thing that I finally grabbed today was this particular feather from this particular type of blackbird, which are, we have oodles of them um, here in Portland, Oregon, where I live. Um, I'm just celebrating my eighth anniversary of being in Portland today. Um, so, and if you guessed it, that yes, that is a crow. We also have ravens in Oregon, but they live way, way out away from people. Generally, it's very rare to see or hear ravens. Um, this close into the city. Um, so if I had an, if I had a, another conundrum, what if I put that crow feather on top of that pile? Now it becomes a little trickier because now I've got a black and white color differential. So can I take just the black items? Can I take the thing that's on top? Can I take just the white items or can I do the same thing as before and take the whole darn pile because they're piled together? I'm going to go with that. If I can get more for one move, um, I'm, I'm going to go with that as long as it is a legal move to play. Um, you can't go 
taking things that aren't ours from other um, other people's property where they have not put them out specifically um, for the benefit of others. And that's why it's nice when people put a free sign um, on items that they put near the curb so you know for sure that it's um, that it's free and available to take. But that is just a little bit of behind the scenes um, tips and tricks that I use when I play the game to make sure that I'm getting the most out of the game and also doing my part to pick up um, what is mine to pick up if I am playing a pickup round. Because believe me, I've, <laughs> I have played many, many a round of clean up the trash in my neighborhood that people so carelessly and or um, purposely left out as trail markers. And if you've not already gotten the message, those days are over. Trash as trail markers, uh, -uh. we have far too many biodegradable, uh, you know, if, if you know what you're doing with your leaves and sticks and twigs and things like that, you can make a marker that other people can find that is not going to get into our waterways and choke our wildlife and be an eyesore in our community. So no more using trash as trail markers. Um, happy playing. See y'all out there. Bye, everyone.